forgot to tell you. I'm getting a real she shed. Today on Montana Dana, we head to Lowe's to get supplies for our super secret project. I work from home and I just moved into Andy's house, so I need a storage solution for my music studio and all of my clothes. Yep, you guessed it, we're building a she shed. Give this video a thumbs up and subscribe for more lifestyle shenanigans. Good morning, my beautiful and lovely friends. If you've seen the last few videos, you know that I just moved in with Andy. I've been moving all my stuff into his place and I was feeling squished in a two bedroom, two bathroom and now I'm in a three bedroom, two bathroom with my boyfriend and his three kids. So we needed a solution for all of my stuff. I not only have a lot of clothes and costumes, but a lot of musical instruments. So we've been working on a super secret project, which obviously by the title of this video, you know, we are building a she shed. A lot of you guessed what it was in the last video, but yes, I do need a space to write music and film and house all of my belongings. So originally we were going to custom design and build a she shed, but it was gonna take about three or four weeks to get it delivered and I'm relying on the she shed to do my job. So I needed to get it done ASAP. So we decided to go look at some pre-built sheds. gate is 12 feet wide. So we decided to go with a 10 by 20 shed because that's what the RV pad had room for. And also if it's under 200 square feet, you don't need permits and stuff like that. So we're just getting stuff cleaned up. I'm getting my trailer moved so we can get ready for the shed to arrive. We found a bunch of good options. I really thought this one was cute. It was a repo, so it was repossessed. It looks more like a little house than a shed which i like i would take all this out so it's up to the ceiling and then use that for storage bins that could house all of my props it was a fixer upper and we expected it to be maybe thirty five hundred dollars but it was double that so that was a no-go and then we found this really cute blue one which i loved i was just very charming it felt homey had really pretty windows but it was gonna be facing the neighbor's house i'm gonna be changing outfits quite often and i don't want to be staring at bay stucco all day that is not inspiring so we decided to look at sheds that had doors that open on the shorter sides instead of the longer sides so we found the one we liked unfortunately it's this brick red color so I have a painting project in my future but it had the windows we like as well as eight foot walls this feels good but you look short in it, which I like and we found one and it was able to be delivered within three days so we had to get our cute little booties to Lowe's to get some supplies. Good morning, my beautiful and lovely friends. Lots happening. So, so much happening. We'll give you the details later, but we're heading to Lowe's right now. We're on kind of a time crunch because the shed is getting delivered. We're at Lowe's eating a Walking and eating. Well, didn't help that we're on a timeline and I ran into an old friend I used to yeah. follow. But pretty funny. Do you want to tell him? Well, she just thinks it's funny that Oh, yeah. I couldn't remember his name for a second, but, but I remember really, everything. I remember every, his whole resume of flying. Every, every plane he's flown, he knows that. He's like, what's your name again? Oh yeah, you flew this jet and that helicopter and then landed here. Let's go to Lowe's. Where's the R value? We have made a list. We need insulation, we need flooring, we need panels for the wall. Um, I'm gonna stain the ceiling beams and they're gonna stick out of the ceiling. So we've got a lot of stuff to get today to make She Shed come together. I'm excited. <laughs> okay, first things first, I'm gonna go find the siding while Andy picks out the installation. Next up, we picked out some floorboards. I usually would go with vinyl, but we found some natural wood ones. The Lowe's employee advised us not to get water on it, but I figure since it's for a she shed, it's just gonna be a cozy little space, not a ton of traffic going in and out. It should be fine. So the shed people just called us. I don't know how relationships survive building things together. It is insane, it's insane. The uh, shed people are calling and they're delivering the shed, so we're trying to like, 
hustle and get this done right now. We gotta check out all this stuff. And Andy said this would happen. So like he didn't want to be at Lowe's in St. George while they're delivering the shed. But then we spent an hour this morning, we could have been at Lowe's discussing whether to come to Lowe's or not before the shed is delivered because we didn't know what time the shed was getting delivered. And if we don't want to murder each other at the end of the day, that is a great success. Is that hashtag relatable? I don't know, but we are trying to hustle, get this stuff checked out, and then take a half hour drive back home. Two cars for Oh, sweet. Oh, and that's ours too. We're gonna still be friends at the end of the day, right? That's our goal, that's our goal. Oh my gosh. I told him that you can have you your I told you so moment now. Oh my gosh. Yeah. yeah. But if we would have spent less time discussing it, we would have been oh, here an hour God. earlier. I so. Hashtag relatable. We're just blocking all the traffic. So I not only have two weeks to move out of my apartment, but we have to build the she shed in that time in order for me to be able to move all of my stuff over. And Andy is only home for six of those days. So I'm a bit stressed out trying to get everything done. So I wanted to go to Lowe's first thing this morning and get as much stuff as humanly possible. I was very adamant about it. I still to this day don't know how we're gonna get it all done by then, but just doing as much as I can every single day. I also got sick after we got home from New York. I don't know if you can hear it in my voice but <coughs> just kidding that was a fake cough but i have been coughing i've been feeling pretty ill so this will be a wild couple weeks and as i'm doing this voiceover not only did andy also get sick but we now only have 10 days to finish this project please send your prayers I've been packing up my apartment and bringing over as much stuff as I can while Andy's out of town. And then when he gets back, we are going to work on the she shed. So this actually happened before I started unpacking my apartment. We just wanted to uh, share the big reveal with you guys that we are building a she shed and wanted to wait to post this video. So this was the last day Andy was in town before he headed out for work. So we are just scrambling to get stuff done today. I gotta use my childbearing hips for something. You guys are doing great. Nice job. The shed people called us and they're like, hey, we're heading to the house now. And so we were bummed because we were gonna miss having it show up and having them put it in its spot. It's all good. I think it was more important for us to get all of our materials. So by the time the shed is delivered, we can start outfitting it with the last day Andy has here before he heads out of town. And finally, for our final trip. Thank you. Oh gosh. <laughs> Yes, actually, it feels pretty good. All right, that is there. Look how pretty this flooring is. We're gonna match it to the beams. It's gonna be nice. I'm just gonna watch my hot boyfriend lift stuff for a sec. Woohoo! Oh yes, let's see those muscles. You get the muscle view and the booty view. It's a great show. How much do I owe you for this show? I can't take you anywhere. I know. All right, and then these guys, yay. I'm like, I'm feeling so good about it now. The like planning and talking about things gives me anxiety, but the like right. doing it makes me feel groovy. Yeah, because now it's my anxiety part. Now it's your anxiety? Yeah. We traded. Okay, well, I guess we'll quit blocking traffic. Right. We're gonna make it, I believe. Oh my gosh. I'm excited now. Okay. And now I drive like a mad woman <laughs> so we can try and see the shed get delivered. Oh my gosh. We'll see. We did good though for what what obstacles we were handed. I we think. still love each other. <laughs> love you, babe. I got a good show. It's 1414 on my phone. So we are about to pull up to the house and there may or may not be a shed next to it. Tell me if you can spot it. <laughs> <laughs> I like the black and red. For you do? I think it looks awful in that neighborhood. Yeah. But if we Why? Because it's hurricane colors? If we were going to move it to the mountain, I'd like it. Oh. I'll repaint it for you later. <laughs> oh, oh, oversized load. They must have stopped for something. Oversized right load. <gasps> Yay, we get to see it be delivered. What a happy day. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm excited. I thought we were going to miss it. <laughs> Good, it's 
so cute. It's so cute. We need to name her. Is it a boy or a girl? We don't know. When she gets painted white. Yeah. So it's gonna go right in here. And then the doors are actually gonna open to the backyard because there's this little pathway. And I'm gonna put a little tiny patio. Oh my god, I'm exciting. It's gonna get cleaner, y'all. It's gonna get cleaner. Okay? Yeah, We're it gonna, will. There's some some floaty trash and some yeah. tree branches to get rid of. Yeah. Trim that up. It'll be cute. This, this will inspire us to well, let's go. make it pretty back here. We'll have this much space for the doors to swing open and maybe build a little patio and put my little chair back here. Or maybe my furniture back here. I don't know. I do know. I'm really excited. I can't believe this is happening. We've kept this a secret for a little bit of time. I changed my mind, I think 13 times. I went back and forth, like staying in the apartment, moving in, staying in the apartment, moving in. It's been a process and like sweet Andy and poor Andy as well, because I've changed my mind every other day for the last month and a half while we've been talking about this, but I'm so excited we made this decision. I finally feel I'm so excited! Oh my gosh, we're, we're doing it. Now that it's happening, I'm so, so, so excited. That's yours, baby. Yay! It's so cute! What do you think? I love it. Yes. It's gonna be a lot of work, but. Uh, I know. Yeah, it'll be, it'll be worth it. I think now that it's actually happening, I'm excited. Before I was just nervous, so. <gasps> cute! <laughs> we're crazy. <laughs> We're psycho people, but I love it. We're the same kind of crazy. <laughs> That's a fact. We are the same kind of crazy. And she sheds coming up. Oh my god, it's happening. It's actually happening. This has been something we've been talking about for a while now. And it started to feel like it was never going to actually happen. So, I'm really happy. I'm very excited. Oh my gosh, I'm already getting broken. I'm all broken. Look how cute it is. So Andy likes the red. I kind of like it. it just you like the red? I kind of like it. It doesn't look good next to the house. Great, I'm going to paint it white. That's all right. The white ones we saw look really good with black trim. Yeah. Have you seen those new houses too? Like it's very Chip and Joanna. The white houses with the black garage doors and the black trim. I think it's really pretty. And then I like how it has these faux shutters, so I'm gonna put flower boxes underneath, but it'll look really cute. Oh, so he puts it on two by fours. Put those on blocks. And then he'll slide it back and it'll slip off of them. Oh my gosh. Something tells me he's done this before. <laughs> Travis. He has moved hundreds of these sheds. So if you're in the Southern Utah area, you're looking for a shed moving expert. He was amazing. Give me a lever and I'll lift the world. Man with a plan. It was actually kind of funny. Andy and I were in Lowe's and we didn't know if we were going to make it back in time for shed delivery. So I got Travis on the phone and I was like, hey, I was just curious. Do we have to be there? Like, I wasn't sure if we had to be there to sign papers or, you know, give him access to the property. But he was like, I got my big boy pants on. I can do it. So he was not only hilarious, but he does know what he's doing. He did an excellent job. And I seriously have no idea how he got his little tractor machine thingy through this tiny space, but made it happen. So I highly recommend if you need a shed mover in the Southern Utah area. Shed it just a little bit, making sure it's perfectly level. 
then we're gonna let her go open the door, swing open the doors, <laughs> and have a look. Yay! Oh my gosh, there's, there's a she shed. Like an actual she shed. Not like a little cargo trailer, mini she shed on wheels. Like an actual tiny home she shed. Oh, happy day. Okay, the truck's pulling away. The moment of truth. We've already been in it, but not in this space. Look how cute this little walkway is. It's gonna be better. We're Walk gonna up, up here. So, yeah. And then we've faced it this way because I want to have the doors open quite often. Oh my gosh, it's so big. I'm so used to that tiny little cargo trailer. This feels gigantic. Oh, that's so nice. It's like a little secret garden. Babe, come look. Oh, it's so cute. Look how much space is in here. I'm gonna cry. This is so exciting. Oh, look how cute it looks. Do you love it really? Yeah, I'm good. We don't have to turn the tree. I like it. I'll fight the tree to have a little tree view. Pretty. Oh my God, it's so cute. Everything will be so set up and pretty, kind of like how I have it now in my apartment, but with a view. Okay. Okay. So even with some clothing racks in the back, yes. I think it's still gonna be as much space as the second bedroom in your apartment. Or yeah. A little bigger. I feel like we could just build a closet right there in the back. It's gonna work. Oh. It's gonna work. It's bigger than I remember it. Hello, Heidi. <laughs> How cute is this little pathway, though? Baby. It's so cute. I'm gonna hang my curtains here, so it'll have some pretty curtains right there, and then smaller ones right here. Oh, and then I can like open them and they'll just be flowy and let some pretty sunlight in. It has enough light, too. I was worried about that because it's facing the house. And we did, I made a bee friend. This way. Is that a wasp or a bee? This way. I don't know, wasp. You're going the wrong way, bee. What are you doing? We're checking for gaps. While the sun is Oh my gone, gosh. I can see some, uh, uh, I can see some light in there. <laughs> checking for gaps. Yeah, step number one is sealing all the corners. I'm just making sure there's no, I don't know, it's not gonna be any leaking. Yeah, and so. That'll be in the next video, oh but. Welcome to the She Shed. <laughs> if you made it this far in the video, write She Shed in the comments below, and we'll see you soon with the build series. What do you have to say for yourself? Are you excited? I'm excited. I'll just work here. <laughs> I'll just work here. I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm anxious. We're about to get to work right now. All right. Okay. Here we go. Okay.